78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Lord have mercy. Monica McNutt has been on the war path with Stephen A. Smith for a while now. It all started before we get to actually what happened recently, but it all started when um, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp took to ESPN First Takes Airwaves to throw on a cape for uh, Caitlin Clark, and they uh, it was accusing all these sisters in the WNBA of being jealous of Caitlin Clark. And, and they were suggested, Stephen A. Smith, that the WNBA need to take some strong measures to protect Massa Baby. They need to stay, take some strong measures to protect Caitlin Clark. That's Massa Baby. Yeah, he out here. Can't be out here hard for, but they had it, they turned it into a worldwide international incident. That Caitlin Clark got fouled hard. It was a regular foul, but because she got hip checked, it was on every channel, every newspaper. More people talked about that than talked about the second attempt on Donald Trump's uh, uh, life. Am I lying? Am I capping? Tell me I'm capping. You. This is how bad that Caitlin Clark fanboyism was. And and he said that women in the WNBA. That had been there putting in work was jealous of Caitlin Clark. Jealous. Right? And <laughs> Monica Minut took issue with him and she told him that's ridiculous. She said that uh why couldn't why can't if, even if some women are jealous, why can't they be jealous? Men are jealous. Everybody, why is this a thing? You know what I'm saying? And she told she called Stephen A. Smith out and she said, Look, you're not even um like you, you could have been talking about the WNBA way three years ago, way before Caitlin Clark got into the WNBA. You waited until now to start talking about it. Stephen A took issue with that. That made headlines all over the world. So recently, Monica Minut put this up, um, where she talked about Stephen A. Smith's desire. And his jealousy of these guys. She says the numbers he's going after. Talking about Stephen A. Smith pursuing a new deal with ESPN. Big money numbers. The numbers he's going after because of Pat McAfee, Trey Aikman, Joe Buck. He might say they're raising the market value, she said. But at the bottom of that, they're not about to get paid more than me. Sounds like jealousy to me, she added. But I haven't seen Inside Out 2. Ooh-wee. Lord have mercy. If that's that's a read right there. I mean, she let Stephen A. Smith have the business, didn't she? She gave it to him. You out here talking about everybody else jealous and all these sisters is jealous of Caitlin Clark. She just got to the WNBA. Oh, he's jealous. She's box office. She's this. She's that. Oh, oh. And it says, that, okay, cool. Pat McAfee's box office. Trey Aikman is box office. I know. Now you're trying to get next to him. You see Stephen A. Smith. Let me see what's going on. He's trying to slide his way into Monday Night Football. He's trying to get on that Monday Night Football cast, but they don't want him. The, the, the money, the football, we don't want you over here. You got all of the rest of ESPN to play with. Leave us alone, bro. We don't want your negative energy. We don't want that hairline coming over here polluting nothing that we doing on Monday Night Football. Stephen A., he upset behind that. So what, this is what's going on at, at ESPN. They don't want Stephen A. Smith nowhere near Monday Night Football. He don't like it. He's fighting against it. He, he's, he's trying to get a new contract and all this type of stuff as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, do you agree with Monica McNutt or do you agree with Stephen A. Smith? 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. I'm the party here. Smash that like button, share the video, sub to the channel. Deuces.